The redesigned Z Sports car is the biggest news from Nissan for 2023. It comes after a long 14-year wait between new models, which leads us to wonder how much longer we have to hold on for the next GTR, if there is one. The sports car's update comes at a transitional time for Nissan, which is gradually pivoting from gas-powered sedans and trucks to increasingly serve its SUV and F customers. 2023 Nissan Versa Nissan says updates for its most affordable sedan will be announced at a future date, but we're not expecting any earth-shattering changes. This generation was new for 2020, and considering how interest has shifted away from the class, we suspect the changes, if any, will be modest. Updated styling and new technology could improve the Versa for 2023, assuming the model doesn't go the way of the recently discontinued Hyundai Accent. 2023 Nissan Sentra Like the Versa, the seventh-generation Sentra sedan was new for 2020. Given how new the model is, small cosmetic updates would be a likely place to start for the 2023 Sentra. The SV trim was updated just last year with an available all-weather package, and the SR version of the compact received an available Midnight Edition package. 2023 Nissan Altima The Altima sedan's exterior design is the main focus of Nissan's updates this year. Most 2023s get a revised grille with the brand's latest logo, but the sporty mid-grade SR trim level also gets a black chrome finish on its grille, which is slightly different in style. Two new exterior colors, gray sky pearl and garnet pearl metallic, expand the palette to nine, and the top four trims gain new wheel design choices, 17s for the Altima SV and 19s for the SR, SL, and SR VC Turbo. Inside, the 2023 Altima SL and SR VC Turbo pick up a new standard 12.3-inch touchscreen, previously 8.0 inches, an onboard navigation system, Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, and a wireless phone charger. 2023 Nissan LEAF Say so long to the SL top model, and soon, maybe to the LEAF itself. For 2023, the LEAF lineup is trimmed to just the S with the 40 kWh battery and the SV Plus with the larger 62 kWh pack. Nissan's compact electric also gets more aerodynamic, sporting revisions to tire deflectors, the rear diffuser, and the rear spoiler. A new black inner finish on the front grille, bumper molding, and headlights differentiates the 2023 from the model year before it, as does an illuminated front Nissan badge. The 2023 LEAF SV Plus also receives a new set of 5-spoke 17-inch wheels. 2023 Nissan Maxima You don't have much more time to snag one of the last remaining new gas-powered Maximus. Nissan has announced it will retire the sedan midway through 2023, but it's also suggesting this may not be the end for the nameplate. Electrification could be in the Maxima's future as part of the brand's F push. 2023 Nissan Z A new era of Z sports cars begins without a number in the name, and that's okay. We can tell you Nissan's long-nosed coupe has a 400-horsepower 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged V6 underhood that sends power to the rear wheels, like it should. There's even a six-speed manual standard, but if you prefer to have the transmission shift for you, the automaker offers an available nine-speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control. Nissan doesn't fiddle too much with formula here. Weight is kept in check with standard parts like an aluminum hood, doors, and hatch and a carbon fiber composite driveshaft. Side sill spoilers also come on every Z, and moving up to the performance model unlocks more aero, such as a chin spoiler and rear spoiler. The top trim also gets suspension and brake upgrades, a clutch-type limited slip differential, and 19-inch raised wheels shot in Bridgestone Potenza S007 summer tires. And with a price that undercuts the Toyota GR Supras, performance isn't the only thing that makes the new Z compelling. 2023 Nissan GTR Will 2023 be the final model year for the Nissan GTR? The high-performance sports car is back for the 15th year of its production run with no new updates and a streamlined range of just two trim levels, Premium and Nismo. It last received changes for 2021, and the brand has even stopped racing GTR at home in Japan, so it's entirely possible this could be it. The more salient questions, will there be a successor? Or is this the end of the line? If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.